It is really, truly amazing to think that a community that comes from 135 nations, as MIT is, they are here living and working together. Over 40% of the faculty, over 40% of the graduate students come from other countries other than the United States. In a single place like MIT, that uh, actually is like traveling all around the world, but just walking down the infinite corridor. And you find all these different places in the people. When a diverse set of opinions, diverse set of perspectives are brought together, the solution is that much more impactful, that much more effective than if it is drawn out from like-minded people. I think every style of communication, every culture comes with its own opportunities and eye-opening experiences, but at the same time, its own challenges. Until we take some responsibility to communicate with and work with colleagues from different backgrounds or different communication styles, I don't think we really realize that we have to be open and maybe change our own approach to make the environment better. It requires a nuanced understanding of the fact that we all have different cultures with different cultural norms and just different behavior. Before coming to MIT, I had never left the East Coast of the United States. The biggest struggle for me was communication itself. I learned to be more open to different styles of thinking and different ways of work. And so it's not just the fact that we have international people here, but we are also trying to engage globally. If you want to make the world better, you cannot do it in your own room or in your own city. You have to not just interact with people from other places, but be in other places too. As we deal with more and more countries and cultures, we really need to be mindful of the fact that ultimately, for us to produce collaborative results, we need to be able to communicate effectively with each other. And that means to be culturally sensitive, to be culturally competent. Take the time to observe other people's behavior that may be quite different from yours. Look for verbal or physical cues even from everyone in the group to make sure that everyone actually knows what's going on. You give off signals about the culture that you come from even before you open your mouth. And you have to also be open to receiving those signals as you're interacting with others. Think about it from an empathetic point of view and not rush to judgment. We have something in common. We have a love of science, a love of engineering, the love of humanities. And I think that's very important. And since we have that base, that serves as a perfect platform to actually understand the different cultures. In the end, what's important is that we all learn how to communicate. There are people from everywhere that come here with common purpose, and we live together and we learn from each other.